All right, I got a chance to watch uh, um, Earl Spence and Terrence Crawford's um, episode one. First, I'm going to say it sucks that it's only two episodes. I think they're doing this fight a disservice. I think it should have been three or four, uh, even if it just went straight to YouTube, you know, the production, because it's, it's contingent upon them getting time slots for the Showtime network. It just should have been like a YouTube thing. That they, they should just be putting content out on YouTube, man. Two minutes of content a day, man. Like, there's no footage of Earl Spence in the gym. There's no footage of Terrence Crawford in the gym, dog. There's zero footage on the internet, dog. You know what I mean? And I'm so excited for this fight. I'm not rushing the fight because I'm rushing my life. I'm 45, so I'm never really like, I can't, man, I, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not holding my breath for nothing anymore at 45, you know what I mean? <laughs> but uh, um, I just wish it was more content, man. I, I, just, really, I just really wish it was. Uh, I, I wish it was some more engagement between Earl Spence and Terrence Crawford. Um, I, in, not engagement between them, them two because that's pretty much over, but just engagement with the media and behind the scenes, what they life like. What's your life like? Mine as well. Um, that's, that's a Nipsey song. Um, but what I will say, nah, no but, what I, what I will say about uh, the episode, it's always great. Showtime never misses, man. Showtime, that's the one thing I can say about Showtime production. Mr. Pepper is the best at what he does. Um, he, he's just simply the best. Uh, can't miss. Um, I like the fact that Earl Spence is wearing his shirt. Terrence Crawford was not wearing his shirt. Um, I like the fact that they talked about fatherhood and them being fathers. They never brought that up with Tank Davis, so you see how they promoted Tank Davis as a demon, as a devil, uh, and you guys thought I was crazy. They never mentioned Tank Davis' two daughters in the promotion, but you know what they did in episode one of Earl Spence, Terrence Crawford? They mentioned fatherhood, them being fathers, you know, so that tells you how they're marketing them. But I'm crazy. You know, I'm, I'm the only award-winning. How many award-winning producers, directors are doing boxing content? Just asking, what, 1%? Uh, anyhow, as I digress. Um, beautiful, well done. I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's nothing you can't say. Like, I'm not going to sit here and lie to you guys. Uh, you guys think I hate PBC. I don't hate PBC. I just, it just fucking derailed all the fighters. Wilder's still only going to fight once a year. You know, Gary Russell ain't fighting this year. You know, we'll see if David Benavidez comes back this year. You know, maybe they'll put him in a December pay-per-view. You know, with low expectations. Um, maybe they'll put him in that back in Arizona. You know, but if you want to be pay-per-view, you got to put it in Vegas. I don't know if he could bring him out in Vegas yet, you know. But we'll see, because they need a credible opponent. Maybe they can do Andron, you know. But anyways, that's another video for another day. Um, I'm going to tell you guys the truth. Truth is, Showtime is the best at these sports uh, episodes, and HBO was great at it. But Showtime has simply just mastered it. The transitions, like the transition at the beginning when they was talking about Spence, and then it transitioned to Crawford. I thought that was beautiful. And then when... Uh, the transition from the hot the, uh, the hot sauce when Earl Spence says you don't even eat hot sauce and then the next scene was like how did I know I thought that was I thought that was well done I like the fatherhood transition I would have put that more at the beginning you know I would have set the, the stage as as a home that's the only thing different I would have done but in terms of production quality a plus uh, we need more though it's fucking July. With 21 days away, and Showtime has only produced one shoulder programming content. One. I'm talking about with the main guys. I, I thought PBC did a, did a really good job of um, Sean Porter and all of them. 
but the production quality is so poor with, with uh, uh, what's the guy's name? Um, what the hell's the guy's name? Kale Brook, Sean Porter. I didn't even finish it because it was the, the quality was too poor. Uh, Virgil Hunter. Um, I didn't finish it, not because it didn't give me good info, but just the production quality was poor. You know, like, like something like that. Dude, why, why don't you, why didn't y'all set that up at the last fight? You know, why didn't you set that up at, when Breadman fought in Minnesota? Why didn't you fly Sean Porter out and all those guys and do individuals and then bring them all together and do it? You had Breadman, you had Coach Cunningham, um, you know, like it, it gotta be high quality production, you know, when, when you're dealing with this because if, if you got YouTube quality, it's good, don't get me wrong, it's not great. Like comparing YouTube quality to what Showtime did, it's just night and day, you know, it's just night and day, it's just poorly done. And when you got millions of dollars, you should have um, stuff to, but they need as much, I, I think we're sitting at 500,000 pay-per-views right now. Um, I like the co-promotion with the Dallas Cowboys. I really, really like that, but nothing became of it. Like, what became of that? Y'all gotta help me, because nothing went like viral. Because anything that goes viral, you'll get it on Instagram, you know? People will share it, people put in their stories, but I don't remember that going too, too hard. Um, I think he probably needs to go over to Mark Cuban. And then another thing too, Michael Irvin needs to be a part of this promotion somehow, some way. Uh, I think they need to use that quote by him. Um, I think that's important. Um, I think that I think Michael Irvin needs to be part of the, this promotion. Um, Michael Irving and uh, you, you know what would be great? Devonte Adams is that the wide receiver's name that used to play for the Green Bay Packers? Is he friends with Terrence Crawford? I think that'll be great. Devontae Adams and Michael Irving. I think that'll be great. Old versus new wide receiver, you know, young football audience versus old football audience. You bring them together, you know what I mean? And you have them talking, but you need Michael Irving's intensity. Michael Irving brought so much to Earl Spence uh, post-fight uh, stuff, you know what I mean? I, I, I just thought it was just exceptional. Um, and... Uh, that's pretty much it. Earl Spence wore his shirt, and the in the in the background, I saw his the mother of his kids. I saw I saw her wearing the shirt. I think that's important uh, because you're gonna sell you're gonna move some units tonight. Them shirts, hundred hundred percent. You're 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 gonna sell stuff. Um, uh, what else? And um, I'm I'm excited for the fight, dog. I can't wait. I got Earl Spence in 11. Uh, I'm thankful that they're giving this fight away. And um, I might as well talk about it now um, as it pertains to uh, you can see the, the body compositions of both Earl Spence and Terrence Crawford. They're completely, completely different. Earl Spence is going to have a harder time making weight. Terrence Crawford will have an easier time making weight. And then once round one start, Earl Spence will have the advantage in terms of the weight, and, and Terrence Crawford's gonna have to figure it out. But that's what happens when you got the bigger guy versus the smaller guy, basically. You know, like I'll say, Canelo's gonna have a harder time making weight than Jamel Charlo. You know, that's just, these are competitive advantages that, that are just reality. Um, what else? Uh, I think. That's not it. I, I should have wrote it down, but uh, A plus, A plus production, A plus storyline. Um, um, I wish they would have incorporated. Um, uh, they got to incorporate Anthony Joshua and Ryan Garcia in the next episode. You say why? They got fan bases, so I think episode two you got to incorporate. Who else does he have? Cool. Well, they'll be at the fight next week. So Showtime needs to do real production with Anthony Joshua. Who's, who's the other guy? 
uh, Ryan Garcia, Frank Martin, Earl Spence, Anthony Joshua, Jamel Charlo. You need to do real production. They will be supporting Frank Martin tomorrow and I mean next weekend. And more importantly, if you got that much talent and Michael Irvin lives in Dallas, Michael Irvin needs to go visit the fucking gym. I, uh, the guy is cool. Uh, what's his name? Uh, shit. Steven Jackson is cool, but Steven Jackson is not great. He's not a journalist. You know, he's, a. uh, uh you know, he's, he, I mean, I'm not being disrespectful, but that's not his skill set. His skill set is not journalism. Um, um, his skill set is being the homeboy. Um, and, I don't, and that doesn't translate well in interviews, you know. Um, um, Michael Irvin ha, is, is more media trained because he's been on ESPN. And I think they need to send Michael Irvin. Uh, you saw Micah Parsons there. I think Showtime needs to invest Michael Irving going down to the gym and separately to promote the fight. Listen to me, Team Spence. Whether you do it as a independent media, which I think you should, or Showtime does it, you gotta get Ryan Garcia talking about the fight. Simple as that. Uh, you gotta get Anthony Joshua in the long form, not just, I got Spence, he's my, he's my stable mate. No, talk about the fight. Talk about the relationship between, the newfound relationship between you and Earl Spence. I want this fight to do well, dog. Like, I, I'm all in on this fight. Well, I'm not all in, because I'm not doing, financially, I'm not all in. But as a boxing fan, I'm all in on this fight. I'm so excited for this fight. Uh, I, I want it to do well. Um, as you guys see, I'm, I haven't, talk down on this fight, 0%, <laughs> you know? So um, it's gonna be a ruckus, it's gonna be over 20,000 people. And I think they're, we're right at the 500,000 pay-per-view mark right now. And I think they're gonna have to do some work to get it to that million. They got a lot of work to do. I mean, when I say a lot of work, a lot of work, you know? Um, um, but we shall see. Um, but I think, Showtime needs to use their production team, Michael Irvin, Anthony Joshua. I think they need, I, they, they probably should just do a round table. You know? Like, like a real, like, or they just make it real urban and do a fight town with Steven Jackson. But Steven Jackson is not a journalist. Like, like he, he ain't talented like that. He's the homeboy, and I'm not being disrespectful. I'm just telling you what he's given us over the years. Like, like he he don't sit down and do interviews, man. Like for real, for real, man. He he wants to smoke weed, you know. And um, when, when you're talking to the world, people don't want to see the interviewer known for smoking weed. Like we want to know that you're gonna ask the questions that we want to know. You know, uh, the aesthetics is that is in some cases as important as the questions that you ask as a journalist. But um, that's all I got to say. Um, that's all I got to say. And um, it's exciting. It's exciting. I got Earl in 11. Um, I'm glad he got nutritionist. I'm real interested. Oh, and another sidebar too. I'm real interested to see how this trainer is going to help Earl. Like, I'm really, really interested because he looks, he, I will say this, Earl looks a little too bulky right now to be three weeks away. He looks, no, bulky means like he may be fat. He looks a little bit too muscular. Looks a little bit too muscular, uh, especially in like his trunk area. You know, I would want his waist to be a little bit smaller at this stage, you know, like that, 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 that V symmetrical, you should see that coming in. Um, um, but yeah, man, um, but that's going to be, but I'm real interested to see how he looks in the fight. I'm real interested. I got Earl in 11. Um, I got a lot of money on Earl and, um, that's all, man. So y'all go ahead and have a beautiful evening. Barbershop conversations. We got to get Michael Irvin a part of this promotion and, um, that'll be it, man. I'll holler. Peace.